hello welcome to the course of cellular v2x so in this class we are going to discuss about the cellular v2x basics so in this we will deal with the different concepts like what is cellular v2x and the operation modes and its advantages and why we are using the cellular v2x its benefit to the drivers and the role of gsme so starting with the very first that is what is cellular v2x so cellular v2x V2X communications using cellular network is called cellular V2X or C V2X and 5G Automotive Association that is 5GE is a organization that promoting cellular V2X and cellular V2X is initially defined as LTE in 3GPP release 14 and its functionalities are expanded to support 5G in 3GPP release 15. So it is also known as Cooperative Connected Vehicle or CITS that is Cellular Intelligent Transport system so cellular v2x is an umbrella term for 3gpp defined v2x technology encompassing in both lte and 5g based v2x system so here the cellular v2x is a combination of automotive industry and telecommunication so cellular v2x provides the end-to-end -end solution for intelligent transportation mobility system and smart cities so automotive industry is providing the vehicle platform, the hardware and the software solution whereas the telecommunication is providing the connectivity and networking system over to the devices and the different technology. So here the cellular VTX is basically a combination of automotive industries and the telecommunication services. So the operation modes of cellular V2X are device to device, device to cell tower and device to network. We can also say it like vehicle to vehicle, vehicle to infrastructure and vehicle to network. And the advantages that are associated with cellular V2X are it support both direct communication and the traditional cellular network based communication and the network. And it provides ma uh, migration path to 5G based system and services. It means we don't have to deploy a new network to apply a 5G uh, rules and regulation. This uh, uh, the cellular V2H that is based upon LTE will also work with the 5G system. Next is why we use the cellular V2X. So here we are using cellular V2X because it has server key advantages over earlier technology. So the first one technology is support of vast coverage of secure and well established LT network. Here the ex existing cellular infrastructure reduces the amount of roadside infrastructure. It means we are using the existing cellular infrastructure to deploy this network. Whereas in DSRC we have to deploy a new R RSUs and we have to uh, we have to deploy a new roadside infrastructure, so which is very costly. So that need to be installed and maintained by the municipalities and highway agencies in both urban and rural area. So that is a hectic task. Whereas in this cellular vehicles we are using the existing cellular infrastructure, and it support both shorter and longer range of communication between vehicles and roadside infrastructure. So it is uh, present in both wide range and short range communication and it provides roadmap to the 5G connectivity as well and it enables highly reliable real time communication at high speed and in traffic congestions and it gives versatile and cost effective solution to automobile manufacturers who are looking for improving road safety. So that's why we are using the cellular V2X. Next is this uh, cellular V2X that uh, providing the benefits to the driver. So the first benefit is that pay as you drive insurance per mile. So driver have to pay for the insurance as it drives. So if it is not driving, then they don't have to pay for the insurance. Then is vehicle diagnostic. And it, uh, so this is the repair of the vehicles. And for attainment, security features that are added and the navigation and the map that will help the driver and e-calling. So here the e-call is a European initiative intended to bring rapid assistance to motorists or the vehicles involved in a collision anywhere in the European Union. So e-call was made mandatory in all new cars sold within the EU for April 2018. So this is the e-call functionalities that are added, in a, added as a service in cellular V2X. Then the role of GSMA. So the role to as uh, the role of GSMA is to accelerate the growth of connected vehicle market. So it col uh, it collaborating with uh, mobile operators, automakers, and suppliers and the regulatory body to design a cellular V two X. And it it is making common agreement on the various approach to security, regulatories, 
and security regulatories and the infrastructure solution. So the GSM is consulting with global regulatory bodies to align the industry around a common approach to security and spectrum harmonization. So this is the role of the GSMA in implementing cellular V2X. This is all about cellular V2X basics. Thank you.